work in preparation of sending our colleges, students to college. I say that because oftentimes they're not aware of the ACT significance and importance, and oftentimes our high school counselors are dealing with testing. They're doing their job based on what they've been instructed to do, so counselors, please don't be offended. However, when I say to the students, what is the required ACT score for the school of your choice? And what is your ACT score? And how many times have you taken that test? You waited for the free test your junior year? You mean you haven't applied for college? Do you understand that your transcript, have you ever seen your transcript before you send it out to a university for the application process? Did your counselor tell you about the scholarship deadline usually occurs in the month of February? So it's actually your 11th grade and your ACT score in the 11th grade that qualifies you for the money that you need after graduation. The judge counselor explained to you the difference between a high school diploma and a high school certificate. You can't go to college with a certificate, baby. You didn't have a GPA. You had a 1.1, but they let you walk out of social promotion. Did your counselor talk to your parents? Counselors are overwhelmed with a workload that prevents them from counseling. That has to stop. <laughs> I don't know whether this passed the collection plate or what, uh, the church moment over here, but it is time for truth telling. Um, what should be discontinued is um, all across the district, the entire student disciplinary plan needs to go. <laughs> Disproportionately, African American males are suspended at higher rates. At Iroquois High School, 20% of our population is special education. And how, how much do you want to bet where those suspensions come from? Which is my next piece of it. And parents, you need to wake up and be aware, pay attention. Read that student code of discipline and conduct because your child is often being railroaded if she or he has been suspended because you have not had due process because you don't know what the process is. So, but when it comes to it, the diagnostics for special education, that needs to be revamped completely. The way that our children, black males, are disproportionately such a large part of the special education programming. Oftentimes, our parents don't really know what to do when these recommendations come. Check to see if they're wet behind the ear. They don't have a professional opinion yet. You know your child, and you need to show up and advocate for your child's placement inside of that particular school. So my point is that the student discipline program, the plans that are in schools, they do not work. Our suspensions of black males in particular is not shrinking. 